The UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's sixth assessment report received widespread media attention. Despite being labelled as Code Red for Humanity, the report recommended trade-offs across the Sustainable Development Goals, not just climate action. In fact, it went so far as to say, sustainable development supports and often enables the fundamental societal and systems transitions and transformations that help limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This exemplifies the vital need to consider historically overlooked aspects of development projects. It could be the economic impact of reforestation or the environmental impact of building affordable homes. Let's look at some of the projects that aim to exemplify truly sustainable development. The UK government was heavily involved in the negotiation of the UN Sustainable Development Goals and has committed to their delivery. It published its voluntary national review report on the UK's progress on delivering these goals. There are a number of projects which address the various goals, most notably the levelling up agenda. Leveling up is the process of closing the development gap between London and towns, cities and rural and coastal areas that have been left behind. Large differences in earnings, productivity, health, education and social mobility must be combated. The Environment Agency also states its intention to address environmental inequality. At present, 59% of households in the top 10% income bracket are within a 10 minute walk of a public green space, compared with just 35% in the bottom 10% income bracket. Moreover, city communities with 40% or more residents from minority ethnic backgrounds have access to 11 times fewer green spaces locally than those comprising primarily white residents. Although it has attracted a lot of controversy, the High Speed 2 railway network claims that sustainability is embedded in its DNA. The project seeks to provide wider social, economic and environmental benefits well into the next century and recognises the interconnected nature of these considerations. HS2 is guided by five sustainability themes that are loosely analogous to UN Sustainable Development Goals. In addition to aiming for economic growth by connecting parts of the country, the project presents an investment of £55.7 billion with opportunities for small and medium-sized enterprises, tens of thousands of jobs created, and education programmes especially aimed at young women and those from disadvantaged backgrounds. Environmentally, HS2 intends to avoid significant adverse auditory and visual impacts, minimise its carbon footprint and pollution, and achieve no net loss in biodiversity. This will be achieved through the use of conservative design, electrified construction vehicles, low carbon concrete, energy efficient stations, a green corridor, and 3 million tonnes of carbon dioxide savings over 60 years from reduced car and lorry journeys as well as tree planting. Finally, in keeping with the definition of sustainable development, the project will be designed to adapt to the needs of future generations. This includes adapting to the effects of climate change, such as resilience to a 1 in 1,000 year flood event. On the international level, one key example of sustainable development is the Great Green Wall in the Sahel region of Africa, an ambitious project to grow an 8,000 km long strip of vegetation across 11 countries. It intends to stop desertification that is causing the southward spread of the Sahara Desert by restoring 100 million hectares of degraded land by 2030. It is currently about 15% complete. This comprehensive rural development initiative has a key focus on the UN SDGs addressing a host of environmental, climate, health and well-being considerations. For example, beyond carbon capture by the trees planted, the improved land will provide food and water security for residents and improve gender equity, since the time spent fetching water is reduced, providing the women who typically carry the water with more time for other activities. The initiative has provided work for 350,000 people to date, and the new economic opportunities have helped slow the trend of migration away from the region. Furthermore, stability and partnerships forged through the project will serve to prevent conflicts and accelerate development. Another internationally renowned example of sustainable development is the Blue Halo Initiative. This is a science-based, community-driven project to develop and implement sustainable ocean policies for small island states, such as Curaçao, Montserrat and Barbuda. Whilst conserving life underwater with sustainable fishing practices and comprehensive ocean zoning, Blue Halo also seeks to empower coastal communities through providing materials and enhancing local capacity on the ground for monitoring, assessing and managing fisheries. This serves to create healthier coral reefs and coastal ecosystems, with an increased abundance of commercially valuable species leading to improved fishing and tourism-based livelihoods. To recap, within the UK and internationally, the embracing of sustainable development is beginning to ensure that all impacts of infrastructure projects, aid and government initiatives are fully considered, maximising their positive effect on the world and its future generations. The few examples we have highlighted have made efforts to address all the aspects of sustainable development, not just the most apparent. However, more awareness, acceptance and action is needed in order to avert the crises our society faces.